Hello again, Bubble Craps aficionados. Here we are looking at our Bubble Craps Tracker and Analyzer program for another session on uh, what to do with all the information that we have uh, attracted so far. One of the things that I'm going to outline for you today is down here, it's a new area called Strategies, along with the Trends Chart. All right, the Trends Chart is pretty basic in the sense that what it does, it looks at uh, the last, I think it's 18 rolls here, of shooters. Uh, if you have a little red, like down in here, it means that you're getting less than four rolls for that particular shooter. The yellow picks up somewhere around five to, uh, I think, five and a half, or four to five and a half. And then the green is what we're really looking for if we're on the pass line, or we're placing inside numbers, because this here is anything from about uh, five and a half or six on up. The more green you have, the better it is for you if you're on the path and you're placing inside numbers or even outside numbers. It's just the length of the roll. Uh, we had in the previous episode gone over the points per shooter here, and we haven't really decided yet as to whether we're going to keep this or not. That's why it just kind of sits here in a limbo stage. It doesn't really declare anything. If you look at it, you go, what is that? And basically, just for a quick uh, overview, it's just a matter of how many sh how many points a shooter has processed and uh, going from 0 to 9 plus you have a shooter's made 0 points 33 times a shooter's made 1 point 38 times a shooter has made 21 points excuse me has made 2 points 21 times and it goes on and here this last one's really like 9 on up if you have 9 or more points so actually at least one shooter's made at least 9 points that's pretty good in the uh, strategies area here we go over just a few different scenarios. You have an iron cross, and the iron cross basically is just where you're you're placing the six, the five, six, eight, and you are putting a field bet down of, of normally five dollars, which would cover your nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so to speak. What we are doing, we're only putting two dollars down because our bets are minimal. We're doing you know basic five dollar, five, six dollar, six, six dollar, eight. I don't want to put down a five dollar nine because if you're hitting a a six, you know, one of the other numbers of five, six, eight, you're not really making much of a profit. So we just do a couple, two or three dollars in there, and that's it. On the inside, twenty-two dollars. It's pretty obvious. You were doing the five, the six, the eight, and the nine single units on each of those. Two and down is basically the twenty-two dollars inside, but we only leave it up to collect two times. Then we bring them down or we turn them off. Okay, this continuous DP slash DC being don't pass, don't come. Five dollars is the flat with six dollar rods, okay, and then the second point ten dollar lay, which is just once a shooter has made a point on the second point forward, we just lay it for ten dollars. We're not on the DC or on the DP. We're just laying whatever the point is for ten bucks. So it's it's a small bet, and you don't really win a lot, you don't lose a lot, but it's a way of just kind of, kind of maintaining your seat until you notice the trend kind of building to where you might have a lot of green coming up and then you can jump in and play so to speak okay uh, those are neat because they wait for the 50 rolls the initial 50 rolls as we normally say you should wait about 50 rolls before playing it gives a, this little track you hear some data to back it up before you jump in and go so here on the strategies it waits for 50 rolls to occur and then it starts making these bets behind the scenes, okay? And that way, if you're just tracking numbers for like 50, 60, 70 numbers, let's call it 50 on up, you can just kind of watch the numbers change as the points are being made or, the, or lost, whichever the case is, along with the trend kind of building or falling. All right, let's kind of look at this once, and we'll just, we have a point of five right now, as you can see, we're established on the five, which also brings up one more point of what we have here. In previous versions, it did let you know this is the 5, of course, and our point is 5. We're trying to establish a 5, but we really don't know if the points come up before, have we made the point, and the like. Well, now if you click on that 5, it tells you the point of 5 has been made 8 out of 21 times, so 38% of the time, and it has come back to back, meaning the point was established and immediately came back, uh, resolving in, in a good-natured form. Okay, and then you, of course you can do that for any of the numbers that come up. All right, let's kind of get an idea of what's going on here. We'll continue. Again, you notice I click on this little graph button, but it only is on a testing mode 
the live version does not actually have that capability. This is just for testing. But this way you can watch as points are being made or not made. The trend here will start to build. So we're doing our what four rolls or so. What was it? Five rolls with our previous shooter. So four to five rolls. We have our little green, I mean, yellow bar. Then we went to a green. Now we're down at a red, meaning yeah, previous shooter had one roll. Hmm. Kind of ties a record, or doesn't it? <clears throat> let's see how our strategies are building up. Uh, let's see, our iron cross currently is at 129. Oh, by the way, on the strategies, we normally start the first 50 rolls. You'll, you'll see it come up. It says it's 200 in there. So we're starting with a $200 bankroll. So you're seeing that most of these have dropped below the $200 bankroll. The two and down is the only one that seems to be doing okay. Oh, no, the second point's also doing okay. But everything else seems to be failing, which that will happen. It's very rare that you're going to have everything above 200 because you're playing both sides, so to speak. Well, we had one good roll in here, didn't we? This one here. That was a pretty good roll. And another good green bar. Let's see what's coming up here. How's our, how our strategies are developing? Uh, the two and downs up at 259. So you made a $59 prog. Uh, profit at that point but you can kind of see we're in this this particular session for 763 rolls that's quite a ways but when you're just testing you have to do that I've had this thing up to 13 14 sometimes 15,000 rolls throughout the day just kind of going through to see if any of this stuff can develop any kind of a pattern that is usable Okay, um, also, I don't know if this is in one of the previous versions. Let me see if I can stop this for just a moment here. I'm going to call up, let's say, the fives here. So, seven out of currents after a five. I don't think the previous versions, give me that back, please, had this 18%, which means 18% of the time a seven has come after a five. Well, of course, statistically, 16 is about right, so this is just a little higher than normal. Now, if we take a look at our 8 here, 13%. We have a lot of them, 15 fails, so to speak, after an 8, but we're down at 13%. So that means we've had quite a few 8s. So we've had 109. So we're actually right on average right here, just that we haven't had a lot of outs after. Oh, the 10 doesn't look too good, though. Oh, no, 10 still seems to be sitting up there. 5 was our big one. All overall, it's sitting right about. Oh, there's a low one. And the after the eight, the nine looks like it's a pretty good number all in all because you only have eight percent failing after that. Uh, let's see if there's another good one. No, yeah, the four is not too great. Oh, that looks okay. Yeah, then yeah, I think we talked about that. The nine. So the nine really is a pretty good number for us right now. If the nine comes up, it'd be. Let's see if we happen to get a 9, what happens if it goes out after that right away. Uh, we don't have a 9 coming, and there's 9. No, we passed that 9, so that's good. So 9 seems to be a, per, a fairly safe number for us right now, but we don't know if that continues. If we're looking at our trend, we kind of started going downhill there. Hasn't been too good. I personally like to sit there and watch this throughout the day while I'm working on some of the software here on this or one of the roulette programs that we're working on just to see how this thing turns out. And there's been a few times where that trend has been really nicely green. When that happens, I wish I were at a table with those kinds of numbers. But of course, that never happens to us. Well, actually, right now, we're not doing too bad. We had three good rolls going here. Now we're just doing like, what, fours and fives here? Nothing major. Oh, there's a bad one. But you can kind of get an idea of what's happening here. Now, when you're on the table and you actually process this, obviously the trend moves very slow because it develops between each one of the shooters. And of course, uh, we've gone over this a number of times, this median roll is one of the main things you want to watch out for. I did play at a table a few days ago where that median roll never got higher than 4.5, and I was there for probably two hours just tracking and waiting to see if it would change. Normally, I would play on the don't, but I, I was really wanting to see if I could get a good hand going that day and make a little bit of money. But it never cleared the 4.5 range, so I basically sat there doing nothing, just twiddling my thumbs and said, you know what, time to just walk away. I'm learning to do that. It's taken a while, but I've learned if it's sitting at 4.5 or less, I just walk away because I'm not going to make any money. What will happen occasionally, like we see right now, this 
uh, points per shooter. You're seeing it 50, 53. A lot of times this will be like 50, 51. So you're making a point, missing a point, making a point, missing a point. So you're not getting a trend going to the good or to the bad. So that's kind of hard to make any money in that particular instance. And that's what happens when it's usually, you know, the 4.54s as far as the median is con concerned here. When it's 4.54, it's really best just to walk away. Okay, so uh, questions, comments, just send them out to us and we'll see what we can get going for you. Let's just take one quick look here again. Uh, that's not bad. It's made, been made 41% of the time. So good. Uh, play with it. Oh, I don't think this version has been sent up yet. I believe we're in the beginning of August here. Nope, we're in the beginning of September to make that. And it should be out uh, before the 20th of September for sure. But I believe the uh, beta team is still out there doing a little bit of tests just to make sure everything is good. And we have to obviously check it on a couple of devices. Okay. Anyway, have a great one. And we'll talk to you soon. Be sure and click that little like button, subscribe, and we'll see if we can get that update sent to you as soon as it's available.